Welcome guys to another video about uh, OBD diagnostics. Today I'm not going to be showing OBD uh, device itself. I'm going to explain you on this uh, simple drawing what's going on. Today we got again a BMW inline 6 naturally aspirated engine with problem which occurs on idle. Only idle low RPM. On higher RPM it's okay, no problem. On uh, low RPM, hesitation, misfiring, only codes for misfiring. However, I did uh, live data lookup and I see on idle fuel trims, short term fuel trims going up. This is what I've been talking about in previous videos. So have a look uh, how it looks like, not just reading codes. So I'm going to explain what's going on. On idle, usually most engines, naturally aspirated engines with throttle body, the throttle body or the idle control valve is nearly closed. So we got higher vacuum in the intake. This is intake manifold, intake manifold, engine exhaust. So if the throttle body is closed, any, any cause of vacuum leak, like let's say a crack, let's say manifold, some kind of o-ring tube, gonna suck air in here we got MAF sensor which is detecting amount of air it's gonna be giving false readings we're gonna have hesitation misfiring etc etc also uh, positive short-term fuel trims gonna go high when we're gonna open that throttle body that vacuum is not so important because there's a big amount of air going into the mainstream through the throttle body so the fuel trims are going down so next step i'm gonna do is simply do a vacuum leak test with a smoke machine so this is my smoke machine it's a very simple device it's using uh, 12 volts from the battery it's heating up the element which is simple copper wire uh, it's wrapping around uh, some kind of wool soaked in oil and because the pump broke, I'm using compressed air, not a lot, just maybe up to one bar, a few PSI, that's it, uh, just to see where the vacuum is lost. We're losing vacuum, we have uh, bad readings, everything is shaking, the engine is not working good. No matter if you have one like that or different one, bought one, uh, you made your own one, there's a plenty of uh, DIY stuff on internet, how to make smoke machine. Uh, you can use even compressed air and have a hear where it's coming from. I could actually hear, I couldn't see the smoke. First of all, I'm gonna show you in a minute. I could hear there's a hiss. Then I took off the cover, I can see the problem. So, you, so we're always using that on the main intake feed pipe, always from the front, the same way how the uh, air enters the engine, the manifold, and you're pumping not a lot, you're just pumping few psi of smoke and you're trying to see where it's coming out. I'm going to show you where it's coming out. These engines are known for that problem. Of course, plastic is everywhere, so I'm going to show you where it's coming from. So I got my pressure hooked up and I already know uh, there's a problem with the valve cover. You can see or hear the hiss. Too much pressure will cause that smoke to be not visible, however, if you pay attention, you're going to see it. I can see actually oil bubbles if I apply too much pressure, so this valve cover needs to be fixed or replaced. And after that, we're going to still be looking for vacuum leaks because if you have big hole, let's say, well, in this case, it's a valve cover. If you're gonna fix that for now, then you have to look again because there might be a smaller hole, uh, but it's not showing up because of this one. Well, that's it. So guys, idea of using smoke is simple. Doesn't matter if you have map sensor, which uh, detects drop drops or differences between pressure or mass sensor which is detecting mass of air entering the engine uh, the idea is simple if you have any vacuum leak applying smoke 
you will simply see that smoke coming out. You cannot have any leaks uh, because ECU will be affected. It will uh, tell injectors to spray different amount of uh, fuel. Usually will uh, affect on decrease in power, decrease in uh, fuel uh, economy. Smoke machines are also good to detect uh, exhaust leaks. You don't want to have any exhaust leak because auto sensors are very uh, sensitive for amount of oxygen in the exhaust. So if you have leaks near the sensor, that will affect readings and again ECU and again injector spraying amount of fuel to the engine. So guys, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments. You can share, like and subscribe. You can visit our parts store. You can buy all these affected parts like, let's say, PCV valves, etc. Any O-rings, any tubings, any sensors. Uh, all these things are there. So first of all, OBD2. Then we have to use tool. In this case was a smoke testing machine and then I will try to fix or replace the valve cover because the valve cover is not so cheap. Even used ones uh, are very expensive. So if I'm not gonna be able to fix it, I will have to replace it, seal it back on and check it again if there's a leak or not. If there's no leak, the fix is done. I can uh, assemble the engine and it's ready to go. So thank you for watching and see you next time.